Okay, you're good. Yeah. Right, can you introduce yourself? Uh, your name and summoner name? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, hello guys, my name is Eugene Kim, uh, known as Rainover. Okay, uh, so obviously coach with Team Liquid, mm -hmm. uh, but you used to be a player, if mm -hmm. I recall. Yep. So how's the transition been from obviously being a player to coach? Um, the transition, I mean at the beginning, you know, I was just taking a break mm -hmm. uh, from a pro play, um, and I was planning to come back in the next seasons, but um, I got an offer from a coach who was referred. Um, and he offered me, you know, if, if you're taking a break, why don't you take a break with just uh, chilling and just coaching the team, you know, and so, okay, sure, why not, I try, I, I try, and then summer split, um, I joined C9 as a coach, um, um, didn't really expect, you know, for me to just fully continue as a coach, mm -hmm. but, you know, I find some fun doing it, um, so I just continue. And do you get to be like a coach slash alternate, or just strictly coaching? I was strictly coaching. Okay. Uh, so what made you want to take a break? Was it just... Some... It was, I mean, I had like three years in a row, like a slump mm -hmm. as a player. And um, I had my first slump when I first debuted in the LCK. And uh, me taking a break and coming back, you know, uh, me taking a, playing a lot of solo queue, get back in form and coming back to the pro play was working for me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, uh, I'm having another slump, so I should just take a break, get my form back and just come back as a player. And then, I mean, that, that, was, that was the reason, basically, why I decided to take a break. So, for those who don't follow, like, LCS and other leagues, what other teams did you play for? Oh, I played for, I mean, I debuted in LCK in LG IM, which is uh, Long Zoo, mm -hmm. um, and which is now changed to DRX, I believe. Yes, I believe so. And then the second team I played for Fnatic uh, in Europe. And the next team I played for Team Liquid, and the next was CLG. No, actually no. After finally it was Immortals and Team Liquid and such. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember if that uh, Fnatic season was the one where Unicorns of Love kept doing all the weird stuff mm -hmm. like the yeah, weird. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't sure if that was that season or not. Uh -huh. off the top of my head. I'm sure it was that season. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's each person is different. So questions it's like, okay, yeah. how do you what do you talk about, coach? Um, how do you like coaching Team Liquid versus Cloud9? Because it is a different atmosphere from what the playoffs yeah. were saying. I mean, the biggest change is I speak Korean here. Okay. Team Liquid because everyone is Korean, um, so I, I guess it's easier for me because mm -hmm. it's it is for sure my first language, um, and. I'm not sure. Um, I guess I honestly don't think there's like that much of a difference. Um, but the the more years and the more as I grow as a person or I grow as a coach, you know, I just feel more responsible. So I guess just having more fun and be more responsible. Yeah, that makes sense. You get you can bond with your teammate. Mm -hmm. Well, technically. They are your teammates, but you're yep. coaching them. Yep. Um, so, when you're in your downtime, are you still participating in the Challenger Series, where you're trying to like do the ranking slash practicing to get back into your own form, or are you just focused solely on coaching, or like how do you? Oh, when I was a player? No, right now. Like mm -hmm. when you're not coaching, what are you doing? Help the face. Oh, on my free time. Yes. Um, usually just watch other leagues' games. <laughs> I'll play other games. Um, just. Chilling with my girlfriend, okay. take, some, take some break, going for a good food, going for a walk, you know, it's, it's Santa Monica, so you know, right can always go to the yeah. beach, yeah, yeah. and yeah. just yeah. relax if you need to, just find like a good balance, so just like mainly just prep for the next week, um, and make sure I'm not burnt out, I'm not, like I make sure my players don't get burnt out, just like yeah. get some food, hang out, yeah. So the friends in the league, with uh, making sure they're prepared, like, yeah. As a former player into the coach role, you obviously have a different perspective of if somebody joined as a coach. Um, how do you kind of like try to make it so that your players can kind of still be focused but also more relaxed rather than stressed? Uh, what's the question again? Uh, so basically, what is your coaching method slash ideology to help your players mm -hmm. still be focused but not stressed? I guess just making the environment very friendly. Mm -hmm. Just like instead of like a super like just if you're close to each other 
and if you're actual friends with each other, then even in like high competitive situation, you know, you get to uh, trust them more mm -hmm. and uh, believe in them more, um, rely on them more as well, and you're able to have a healthy conversation mm -hmm. um, every time there's a problem. So I think everything makes it easier. You just make the environment um, more friendly. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Uh, as for you were talking about games, uh, what games do you like to play outside of the league, obviously? Recently, I started TFT. I heard from so many people that the new season is very fun. Okay. So I tried it and it was fun. So I'm, I'm playing maybe like one or two games um, if I have time uh, in between. Um, on mobile or PC? And, uh, on PC. Okay. And uh, some Valorant game. Mm -hmm. So I just play Riot games. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, what rank are you in TFT? TFT, uh, I mean, I just started this patch, mm -hmm. so I'm still in gold right now. Okay. Um, but my highest was Grandmaster. <laughs> oh, I've not cut up there. The highest <laughs> I got was Diamond. So, um, as for you mentioned food, is there any favorite foods you have here, or like in my the food area, or your favorite? What is my favorite food? Is always gonna be Korean food, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's a gate town very close here, like 20, 30 minute yeah. uh, drive. So, just Korean food. You want for the Korean barbecue pan as yeah. well? Um, I like pork belly. Okay, I appreciate pork belly. There's um, even though it's not in Korean town, in Little Tokyo, there's Mr. Ramen. Mm. They, I believe, have a good pork belly ramen. I see. So I don't know if you. Um, some of your favorite champions, obviously. Favorite player. champion? Yeah. I mean, when I was player, my favorite champion was Red Side, mm -hmm. and Elise. Um, I mean, right now as a coach, my favorite champ. I don't think I, I should have a favorite champ as a coach, you know? I should not have a bias or anything, so... I actually, like, even in... I don't think I have, like, one favorite champ, you know? But I do, like, strong early game champ. Okay. That's my favorite champ, yeah. So that's what... Uh, that's Something what I was like, favorite that you champ. can dictate the game, you know? Yeah. Control it from the outskirts. Yeah. Um, when you were a player, slash even as a coach, who were some of the people you looked up to? Um... When I was a player, I think I liked how Dandy and Mara played the game. Mm -hmm. um, very controlled game, so I learned the game from them. And um, I used that game style uh, in Fatic and in models and it worked really well. I think I improved. I just like, constantly developed myself as like a control juggler and it was good. Um, and yeah, and Dandy and Mara was my. Okay, what about outside roles? Outside role? Yeah. So like uh, favorite, like just more, like person, favorite person, sure. Your mom, your mom. Yeah. That's nice. Of um, did she was she super supportive of gaming, or did you have to fight her with her a little bit? Like hey, mm -hmm. she was against it um, because she. I think it was it was because you know I when I was young I I was actually pretty good at studying mm -hmm. I had like a lot of good grades. And so, so I think she even disliked that I started playing games and my grades going down. Um, but I just, I just showed my mom, you know, oh mom, like I'm like top 50 in ladder in, in this game. And a lot of players, pro players are playing right now and then I see them, you know, I feel like I can play better than them. So I think I have a chance. And then I told my mom, just give me like one year. And if I don't become a pro player in this year, then I would start studying again in the high school third grade. Mm -hmm. And she said, okay, just try to be the uh, best, best you can be on the second grade. And then, and then I got into the team in like a few months. So, so she's helping me for it. So now she's just like, all right, okay. kind of thing. For sure. Nice. Uh, I'm blanking. So, oh, so as coach for Team Liquid, obviously, it like, was the loss. But how do you kind of like mentally prepare slash bounce back from that? From this today's lose? Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's always hard. But I don't think it's like it's any big deal. You know, it's just regular season. Um, I mean, this game we played completely garbage. Um, I saw part honestly, of that. like every German fight was just so poorly executed. Um, I felt like we talked about a lot of this like similar comp in fighting execution, but um, somehow we didn't execute properly this game. So. We're gonna go back, watch the game, um, talk about team fights more, and just make sure we're ready for the playoff games. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, 
I'm, I'm still fine. Though. We're still in a decent spot. Mm. We can still come for first, first, second place for like a good seat in the playoff. And all that matters is just us being in a good form in the playoffs. So with playoffs, obviously, is there anyone you want to face? Obviously, there's you know some people are like, oh, I don't want to face this team because of the way the matchups line up, based off champion poll, why not? I think it's too early to think. I mean, mm -hmm. I haven't think about it yet. I like once like playoff actually comes up, and yeah. once the group comes up, then I'll probably have more idea. But for now, not not much thought about it. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm blanking so hard. But favorite music day or artist that was like a non-league stuff. Favorite music artist or different bands you like doesn't have to be one. Might sound pretty boring, but I actually don't listen to music that much. Okay. Like I think I just listen to like famous songs, so hard to tell that I have like specific favorite music musician. Maybe Beatles. When I was young, I listened to. Oh, the Beatles. Yeah. Hey Jude. Yellow um, Submarine. What else? Yeah, I, mean, I don't remember, but. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone has a different like taste. We were talking with uh, Fudge earlier. He's like, oh, I didn't really listen to music that much growing up. Yeah. I it wasn't until I came here mm -hmm. that I thought someone was knocking on the wall um, that I started listening to music. So um, obviously you're in the coaching role. Have you thought about going back to like being? A Not, no, no. no. I like, haven't played for so long. So <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I'm good. All right, I think that's all the questions I have. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, this one pans.